Human brain organoids are small clusters of brain cells grown from stem cells. Scientists use them as models to study how the brain develops and how diseases take hold. For years, these organoids were described as useful but limited. They lack blood vessels, immune systems, and sensory input. They are tiny compared to a real brain, and most experts dismiss the idea that they could ever become conscious. But a study published in September 2025 challenges that certainty. The authors argue that the skepticism surrounding organoid consciousness has gone too far. They point out that organoids already display electrical activity that looks strikingly similar to the brainwaves of premature infants. In some experiments, they have even been able to learn basic tasks, like playing the computer game Pong. At the same time, the technology that supports organoids is advancing rapidly. Researchers are developing ways to give them artificial blood supplies, longer lifespans, and more complex structures. Some organoids are already showing the beginnings of regions linked to thought and awareness in humans. The unsettling question is whether consciousness could emerge as these systems grow more complex. If organoids are meant to model the human brain, then excluding consciousness from their potential is hard to justify. After all, consciousness is part of the natural developmental pathway of the real brain. The study turns the debate upside down. Instead of asking advocates to prove that organoids can become conscious, it challenges skeptics to prove that they cannot. And with each new breakthrough, that position becomes harder to defend. This leaves us with a disturbing possibility. Awareness may not be waiting in the distant future. It could already be present, in a faint and unrecognized form, inside dishes in laboratories around the world. If that is the case, then the issue is no longer just scientific curiosity. It becomes an ethical problem with enormous consequences. What responsibility do we have if these lab-grown brains begin to experience the world even in the smallest way? And how close are we to crossing a line we are not prepared for?